and welcome in this video we're going to see like uh, how to print only odd number okay so uh, let's say for example they given a number like uh, we want to uh, print only odd number from 1 to 10 and it has to be odd number okay so there are multiple ways to do it so we're going to use a for loop and while loop and with the different method okay so let's get started so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new file and i would say to dot html that's what i'm going to use and uh, if you already saw my previous video you know how to create so basically exclamatory word that's boilerplate uh, boilerplate i'm going to create i'm going to create now my script tag and this is guys not proper way to actually do it but uh, i don't want to create a different file and you know uh, if you don't know much so probably you will be confused that's the reason i'm doing over here but that's not proper way okay actually you specify different uh, a file name uh, with the JS extension and you're going to do it but let's get started over here so what I'm going to I'm going to create a function so function and I'm going to give the name odd okay since I'm printing the odd number okay so parenthesis okay and now my for loop for let i equal to 1 okay i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus remember we did that one in the last video so what it did basically it's going to increment by one instead of over here what I'm going to do plus equal to 2 okay and now document dot write and I'm going to use my back ticks. Uh, I'll say method one with for loop curly brace, I mean dollar sign, curly brace starting, ending, and I'm going to specify I over here. I'm going to also use my back tag since it's going to print in a different line so uh, let's uh, see what is doing over here so my i is one so that's my starting point okay so step number one step number two that's going to be check whether one is less than or equal to 10 yes it is less than 10 so it's going to print this line and now it will increment by two so it's going to add a two so now one becomes three okay so once again 3 is 3 comes over here 3 is less than 10 yes it is a less than 10 that's going to print this line once again it goes over here now it's 5 it will looping through until uh, this condition will becomes false okay but this method is not proper way to do it and I'll tell you why and I'm going to print or so I'm going to call my function and I'm going to right click <coughs> I'm using my live server uh, if you don't have generally go to extension right here and uh, you can type over here live server and you can install okay but I already have my live server I'm not going to do that I already installed so uh, and there is another method I mean you can do like open in default browser or open in other browser I'm using my live server so as you can see 1 3 5 7 9 10 is not odd number that's why it's not going to print out that's the one way to do it with the for loop and we will see the second way and which is a proper way and you know why this is not a proper way to do it this time we already know right <clears throat> that uh, 1 to 10 we have the number right but let's say you have an array and from that array you have to uh, just print the odd number at that time this thing is not going to work right so that's why I say this is not proper way but if you already know the number this is the easiest way to do it okay but what is the second way and which is the most efficient way I would say I would say 4 this time I'm using K so let K equal to 1 okay so now K is less than or equal to 10 k 
okay plus plus and curly brace and I'm going to say if k modulus 2 equal equal 0 right but we don't want equal and don't worry I'm going to let you know what is this so what I'm specifying over here <coughs> so uh, our loop will start with the 1 and uh, it will run until it's, it reaches to 10 and it's every time increment by 1 but we are also saying if k modulus 2 is not equal to 0 so what does it mean so let's say uh, 10 divide uh, let's say 5 divided by 2 so 2 times 4 and it's still reminder is 1 right so so it means it, it's still there so that's not 0 uh, if it is for example 10 so 10 <coughs> so basically uh, if it is a 10 divided by 2 right so 2 times 5 and there is nothing remaining right so 0 so that's what it is the modulus right so it only print out when this modulus is not equal to 0 right so that's what it means so I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to say k here and I would say method 2 so <coughs> that's why we're going to see like this is a method 2 and this is method 1 okay and let's see so there you go it's the same result right 1 3 5 7 9 1 3 5 7 9 method 1 and this is method 2 okay uh, and now we're going to do a same thing with the while loop so let's get started so now wait while loop how you can do same thing with the while loop okay so let j equal to 1 while j is less than or equal to 10 and curly brace specify over here and here I'm going to say j method 1 with while loop so in a while loop we're going to start with a j right this is our name of the variable we start with a 1 so we are specifying condition over here while j is less than or equal to 10 we're going to print this one and we're going to increment j plus equal to 2 and I'm it's going to check to see. whether it's printed or not so I'm going to use uh, open with live server if you okay, don't running. have already so what you can do you can click uh, over here uh, extension and J type one, J live okay. server so press equal to 10 and uh, install it okay since I already installed so I'm not going to install and if you don't okay. want to install and if you want to one use second, uh, another one second, like you right click on it and open in default browser and open in other browser you have two more options it's up to you what you want to use and I'm going to use open with live server and let's see so right over here say one three five seven nine and as you can see method with uh, a one with a while loop so your homework or your assignment would be uh, just print all even number start with 1 to 10 by using for loop okay you don't have to worry about the while loop just for loop so let me print it over here print 1 to 10 only even number okay by modulus method okay so this time I want even number with 
for a loop and we will see you in next video and uh, if you want a source code uh, i will provide a link of the description in the description so you can check over there if you like my video please like and share and subscribe we will see you next video okay bye bye